he also just told us that he thinks the way that you speak your mind is brave. Coming from a peer, does that carry much weight? Like, I mean, I, you don't do it to get called brave. I know that, but what, what does that mean that, that, that he would say that? Uh, well, I, it's certainly appreciated. Um, I, I don't really know where, where it comes from other than I feel it's important to make sure people are aware of what's going on uh, in this world that we live in today because there's so much misinformation and so much misdirection and deceit uh, to not call it out uh, I think makes everything even worse and you can look in every facet of our lives now uh, you know the bottom line is that our democracy is in trouble uh, and was in trouble before Trump. It's obviously been exacerbated uh, with his four years and, and his cronies, but uh, we can talk about a lot of different aspects of our society, but uh, it, it boils down to two things. You know, will our democracy survive? And a lot of that has to do with uh, leadership and courage uh, and I'm seeing a whole lot more of that, you know, with the Biden administration. Uh, but the problems are so deep rooted in, and we, we know that race, uh, which many people talk about being tired of, uh, it, it shows that what a problem it is and how it has to continually be talked about because it is at the root of much uh, of what is wrong in our society. And it comes out in so many different ways. So I think speaking about these things is, is important. You know, in our state, uh, I mean, just recently you see the, you know, you see our governor, uh, it's just ridiculous talking about, you know, Joe Biden and the hamburger debacle. Like our president actually was going to determine how many hamburgers we were going to each eat. Uh, so, you know, either he's, ignorant uh, and believed that story when it came out and couldn't figure it out, or he's deceitful and wanted to use it uh, to get his supporters going, which really shows a lack of respect for them because he must think they're ignorant that he could do that. And, you know, he did it with the freeze in our state. Uh, and you could go on and on, you know, all these people. I've said it before, you know, you got guys like Kudlow even he even, Larry Kudlow, he even talked about the hamburgers. Uh, he knew it was baloney. He knew it was crap, but he did it anyway. Just like when he told us that the, the virus was, quote unquote, airtight. His words, airtight. What a deceitful, dangerous man. Cowardly. To just pimp for Trump like that at the expense of our citizens. But you can go on and on you know, with this kind of stuff. I don't want to bore you to death. But because all these things are happening, we have to, we have to call it out because it's ridiculous. Thanks, Tim. Let's go to Tom Oseborn. Tom, how is uh, Derek doing uh, spirits-wise? And, and do you have an update for, about how long he'll be out? Well, you can imagine his spirits are not high. Uh, and I don't expect him back this season. Um, does it involve any surgery or is it just, just no. a matter of healing? Yeah. yeah. How do you go forward without him? He's, he was playing so well. Somebody else plays in his spot. Yeah. Um, did Drew skyhook the other night, did that take you back to a different era? Uh, I don't think it was uh, that uh, earth shattering a move mm -hmm. uh, to invite another era. I think it's a little <laughs> bit of an over exaggeration, but uh, he can shoot that shot and he can shoot it with both hands. I love it when he uses it. Did he already have it or did you guys develop it? Uh, did the staff help him develop that? Well, you know, he's got a, he, he's got a natural, uh, proclivity for that for that move he, he's he's always enjoyed it but the 
you know, the, the guys that have been working with them in development have uh, worked on it probably on a daily basis. So it's, it's improved a lot, but he, he had the basics already. And back to Derek, uh, does Lonnie step, step forward starting tonight and maybe uh, into the future? I, I think that Devin will start. Uh, so we can keep, you know, Lonnie and his role that he's playing now coming off the bench, kind of like Manu did for us to give us that, uh, that little bounce. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Tom. We'll wrap things up with Jeff McDonald. What have you seen on the whole from Devin this season, uh, given the, the, um, you know, he plays and he doesn't play and, and just his readiness. Right. Uh, you know, such is the life of a rookie. Uh, but when he gets minutes, he's played well. Uh, when he gets fewer minutes, I think the rookie part comes out where he's probably more in a little bit of a hurry, probably presses a little bit, wants to do something good, doesn't want to make a mistake. Uh, so, you know, in this situation, he will get more minutes. And so I expect uh, him to develop very well.